Hello, I'm Hiromichi Hoshina. We recently found that the actin protein, which plays important role in cell functions, are changing its morphology by the irradiation of terahertz waves. And as a result, division of the cell was inhibited by the terahertz irradiation because the actomyosin contactile ring, which must be disassembled at the end of cytokinesis, remains by the help of the terahertz wave. First of all, let me explain some points which should be considered for terahertz irradiation experiment, which is the side effect induced by the pulse terahertz irradiation. The first one is shock waves. In our previous work, we found that the pulse terahertz radiation easily generates shock waves in the aqueous solution, and the generated shock waves affect proteins in the living cells. This picture shows the actin protein in the living cells, and the actin filaments are demolished after terahertz pulse radiation. This is already reported in several years ago, and please check these articles if you are interested in. The second side effect is the optosomal effect. Even if the average temperature does not change so much, the temporal change of the temperature causes the thermal shock such as increase of the calcium ions or the excitation of the cell membranes. Those effects are easily misunderstood as the terahertz radiation effect, so we have to be very careful about those side effects. In our experimental condition, we carefully controlled the irradiation condition not to generate shock waves and not to increase temperature by using continuous wave source or by reducing the peak power so much. In our experiment, we used two radiation sources. One is gyrotron. We reduced the power and irradiated to the sample by large beam spot. The beam was chopped for 10 milliseconds by duty cycle of 1% to prevent temperature rise, and the temperature increased only for 0.2 degrees in Celsius by one shot. Another one is the impact diode, which is continuous wave source. We focus the beam, but the temperature change is only for a few degrees. In the experiment, we observed the actin proteins. Actin aggregate to make filament structure. And we observed filament actin by fluorescence microscopy. By the in vivo experiment, we observed actin filamentation reaction with and without terahertz irradiation. After 30 minutes of irradiation, we found that the number of actin filaments are increased by terahertz irradiation. This phenomenon was not reproduced just by changing the sample temperature, so we concluded that terahertz wave induces actin filamentation. Next, we performed in vivo experiment. We irradiated the terahertz wave for living HeLa cells and found that the actin filaments in the cells are induced by the terahertz radiation. Again, this phenomenon was not reproduced by increasing the temperature. So we concluded that terahertz radiation accelerated the actin polymerization in the living cells. Actually, actin plays an important role in the living cells. We found terahertz irradiation changes cell function by affecting actin proteins. This is a fluorescence image of HeLa cells during cell division. Usually, cell division ends in 50 minutes or so, but with terahertz irradiation, many cells stop cytokinesis like this picture. At the end of cytokinesis, actomyosin contactile ring is formed and shrinks to divide cytoplasm. Most probably, Terahertz irradiation disturbs the disassembling of the contractile ring. Thus, we found that terahertz irradiation affects cell division by inducing actin filamentation. Please come to us if you are interested in our work. Thank you very much.